Hello, this is Christian. So in this video, I'm going to go over unit two, um, the, the bootstrap theme for you. Now in the video here is based on an older theme that had a folder called vendor, which I um, noticed that the newer version of the bootstrap and doesn't have that anymore. So um, we're going to fix that. Okay. Um, I, I wasn't able to find the old, old files anymore. So I'm very fortunate, but um, the change is very simple. Actually, it's actually much uh, simpler to, than the previous one. So if you click this link here, right, it takes you here. And again, for this you know, app, you can use any theme of your choice. If you like a different theme, feel free to use that or build your own or you don't have to use any theme at all. Just make your, your page really nice. That's okay, right? So, but if you do want to use this theme, then you know, here's the download, click that. And what you're going to get is a, um, a zip file where you unzip that to your system. So in my example, up on the desktop, and open that folder and you're going to see these uh, files in here. So again, notice there's no more vendor folder in here, okay? And they took that out because they're using a CDN as opposed to the vendor for the bootstrap, which is okay. Right, so what you do is that now a new Angular application and make sure it's running. So you can see the out output. So here's the app that's running right, right now already, okay? And we want to get rid of this bar on the top and then maybe add a footer on the bottom. That's what this theme will look like, right? So um, that's what we're going to do. So over here, under the fly app, inside the SRC folder, you're going to have this index HTML. This is the index of the root template that Angular uses. So you want to you know, move anything that this file needs into this file, right? And so in your zip file, zip folder, and all you have to do is, and the access for this, nothing, they're just the five icons, so I don't really need it because Angular already has one. As you can see, the assets, I mean, not well, it, in here too, but um, it would have a fab icon, so you can just ignore that. And that is this fab icon here, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag, so basically you wanna drag this, I mean, not the index, but drag the CSS and JS into the assets folder. I think it seems to be working better that way. And then the index is, um, it doesn't matter, you can put all in there, it's fine. So I'm gonna drag all of these, okay? put it inside the assets folder. So they're in here now. Okay. If, it, if it doesn't let you drag and drop in here, then you need to go and you know find where this file is on your, your window a system or your Mac or whichever system you're using and copy into this folder, right? So from here, it's very easy to find. You can right click on this folder here, for example, right click on it, preview in Explorer, and that should open up your window. And that's where you store your file, right? This is the SRC of this folder. And then here, then you can go ahead and open that. And then the other folder, what I had earlier was over here, right? And then same thing, you just drag it and put it inside here, which you, we, I did already, so you can see that it's already here, okay? And so you can you know, close this and close this as well. Now, uh, because we're inside the SRC folder, the access folder here, you want to move uh, things over, okay? So like in the JS file, this is the one that we, uh, the template uses. If you open that, you run it, it should look exactly like you saw on the site. So if I run this file, okay, um, hopefully it will launch it. Okay, so you can see this is our Angular app and this is the theme that you wanna use, all right? So we just wanna grab the navigation bar and the footer bar here. So the internal content, we don't really need it, but we do wanna keep the CSS and the JavaScript that comes with this template, all right? So um, let's go back here and go back into the uh, theme here. Okay, so this is the template we want to use. So again, you don't need the fab icon. We just need the style sheet, which is this one here. I'll copy the comment with it too, so I know what's going on and copy it and then paste it to your file here, the Angular file, right? So it's in here and then go back and then I need the navigation, which is the, this, line 15 all the way to line 29. Copy that, okay? Put it into your the body. It's right above the, the app root tag. And then you put a footer right below here. So the footer is at the very bottom. You're gonna skip all of these, go to the very bottom and here's the footer, including the two scripts, okay? So copy everything here and then paste it right down here. And so it looks pretty good, right? Now, <clears throat> notice that this file is outside here, but the scripts and the CSS are inside the assets folder. 
right? So relative to this, this far. So we need to add here assets slash, and then CSS, that's already, you know, good to go. Same thing down the bottom. So assets slash CSS, okay? And, you know, just do a right click and format. So make it nicer and there we go. So this is the navigation on the top. I'll collapse this, you can see better. And the footer down here, along with the two scripts. And the reason why there's no more vendor folder is because they're using the CDN coming directly from the internet now, as opposed to you downloading the Bootstrap themes, all the other, uh, uh, you know, uh, CSS and that, everything that has it with the Bootstrap. So now they're using CDN, so therefore they got rid of the vendor folder. That's why you don't see anymore, okay? So with this method though, however, you have to make sure that you're always on the internet because it's connecting to the internet, right? Um, that's the only thing. Uh, okay, so say that. And then um, if you go back to the web page, hopefully it will make some, have some changes, refresh that page. Okay, so you see that the navigation, uh, the, the footer is already, you know, changed. The, the navigation at the top, it's there, it's, you just don't see it because this blue bar is hiding it. So, so for example, if you, if you refresh it, you can, see, you can see it right away, right? There you go, it's like that and then boom, it's gone. So if I do that, if I hide this bar, which is the angular bar, right? You should see that, um, see it right there, right? So it's right there already. So we wanna do that. So we just want to get rid of the content inside the Angular app here. So I mean, to fix that, basically very simple. So you can go back to this file and I think it's already part of the video, but I'll show you just very quickly anyway. So this part is pretty much done for this, this um, you know, integration. And, and then continue on, you're going to, you know, create components for this and, and, and this and, and separate separately, but I'm not going to do it in this video again, okay? So in the app folder, you see there's an app component HTML, right? You can remove all these comments, okay? It's very, has a lot of comments here. Uh, the style sheet starts from line two all the way to almost like 295. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go down, yeah. So all these stuff will be removed eventually, but I do wanna show you, um, so yeah, anyway. So the, the toolbar, this one here, this is the toolbar in the very top, the rib and the, and the banner at the top. So you can just basically, you know, uh, let's see how far, how, how big this is. Yeah, this is the whole thing from 298, 318, right? So select that, comment it out, okay? Control um, back sl forward slash, we'll comment it out. If you save that and just save it, go back to the site and you will see that now the blue bar is now been removed, okay? So there we go. And then from here on, you just follow the rest of the video to build the components and you should be good to go. Okay, if you have any questions again, please do let me know. Thank you.